I love everyone, I know it's summer right now, but I wanted to throw it back and show an older video I did just after I got my Kia EV6 in January and do a cold weather charging test. This charging test is being done without preconditioning the battery at all. You can see there's the temperature data. Outside ambient temp is around 11 degrees Celsius or 52 degrees Fahrenheit. Battery temp min is 7 degrees and max is 9 degrees Celsius. We're testing here at Borman Hyundai CPE 250. Can output up to 62 kilowatts. So let's go plug it in and see how bad the Kia EV6 cold gates. Okay, it's ramping up. And that subtle click means both power modules are connected. And you can see we're maxing out at about 37 kilowatts. So yeah, the Kia EV6 is cold getting pretty bad. Let's go back into the car and check the battery data. And you can see right there a screenshot of the battery data. The charger can output up to 78 amps. That's full power. But the vehicle is only requesting about 43 kilowatts. And 5 kilowatts of that is going to the battery heater. Because as you can see, only about 37 kilowatts is making it into the battery. So the battery heater is using about 5 kilowatts. So yeah, the battery is quite cold and can't accept more than about 40 kilowatts when it's under 10 degrees Celsius. So let's start preconditioning the battery and see how much better it does. Now before you navigate to the charger, you'll want to make sure that battery preconditioning mode is still enabled. Sometimes a bug in the Kia Connect app can make it disable itself. So you want to check here that it's enabled. And you should have this option as long as you have a model year 2023 or you have a model year 2022 and you took it to the dealer for a dealer applied update. So to use battery preconditioning, go to the navigation, go to POI categories, EV charging stations, and pick the charge you want to navigate to. Keep in mind that the precondition will only turn on when you're more than five minutes away from your destination. So as you see here, preconditioning will not activate because I was only two minutes away from the charger. So once I drive further away, you can see here preconditioning does activate and you'll know it's active when you see the heater coil symbol and the battery icon. You can also confirm in the vehicle's energy information screen that battery care is drawing about 5 kilowatts. That means the battery heater is running at full blast. And after 15 minutes of battery preconditioning, we're going to pull back into the charger. You can see the minimum battery temperature has risen to 15 degrees Celsius. So we should get the full power of around 62 kilowatts from this station. Let's go plug in and see how we do. And you can see we're plugged in right there, going past the 37 kilowatt limit we hit last time with the cold battery. Right there, we're pulling 62 kilowatts, battery minimum temperature 17 Celsius. See how we're getting this station's full power output. So yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this cold weather charging test video. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to get subscribed and check out other videos on my channel. I have a bunch of EV6 related content coming up, including more charge tests, range tests, and EV road trip videos. Get subscribed so you don't miss out on any of those videos.